I'm sure each one of you here had watched Steve Jobs' commencement speech in Stanford. One thing that stayed with me was you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. I was a medical student with aspirations of being a doctor to heal pain. But at the end of the first year, I dropped out and changed my degree. After much thought, I decided to become a petrochemical engineer. Totally different. I wish I could tell you that I was a genius who started watching documentaries about nanotechnology fibers or dreaming of them. Who even dreams about that? But like many ordinary people, I found my passion for nanotechnology the day I started working with it. At the time, AUB had the first nanotech lab in the region, and I was really curious about that field. So I joined that team with lots of day and night shifts in the lab. It was not glamorous. It was definitely not action-packed. But look, it was the start of a love that began to grow. Over the past couple of years, an idea came to mind. Why not merge my initial interest in medicine with the work I'm doing right now? So I set out my mind, write a proposal, and present it to my advisors. Their answer to me that day was, it was unfeasible engineering-wise. Was this a failure on my part? Did I miscalculate somewhere? In my head, ideas were spinning. But if you can't convince your research advisor, the one who taught you everything you know in the first place, you certainly begin to question yourself. But being stubborn, I decided to pursue that idea. If I have the slightest chance, I want to grasp it. And isn't that what research is all about? What I realized is that you can. With research, you can. And this is what I wanted to do. So I held on to that idea and pushed myself to work on developing it into reality. And here's where it all changed. So I moved on to my family's chalet, chilled at the beach, and ideas kept popping into my head. If only life was like movies, it would be perfect. What I actually did was sell lots of what I owned, rented the chalet, and turn it into a full chemical engineering laboratory. My parents thought I might have gone crazy. They even wanted to send me to a psychologist. Some of my friends did as well. But I was persistent. 10 months had passed. I was living between four walls of my mini lab with no results, day after day, with negative answers. I began to believe I had failed. I even start questioning myself, what the heck were you thinking about? This idea might not even be achievable. At first, I chose to give up. I thought that a different goal is not worth the effort. But before surrendering, I wanted to try one last thing. I might as well do what every lab researcher likes to do, shock things into submission. So I applied 40,000 volt to the polymer I'm working with, and something changed. I was able to scale up that nanotechnology 1,000 times. What was something I thought to be a failure turned out to be my biggest success. And now, I thought it was the failure of my life. But it was my plan A, and I can't shift anymore. The basis of this, of this invention is to harness nanotechnology 
as means to apply petrochemicals and pharmaceuticals to ordinary textile. So I was able to transform any wearable clothes into waterproof, breathable, and antibacterial face that delivers medicine from the inside for different health issues like wound, burns, especially third degree burns, diabetes ulcers, and muscle strain. And this is done through the impregnation of a drug delivery system inside the nanofibers that deliver the medication and extract the exudate through the right moisture vapor transmission rate. In reality, imagine there's lots of nanofibers on your t-shirt and there's drugs inside and some micro tunnels that remove secretions of the wound without having to remove the bandage itself and risk infection. As simple as that. But like all researchers, I have bigger ideas in mind. My goal is more than a half a ton machine that heals. And so, my colleagues and I set to do just that. We started initially with electrospun surgical mesh for hernia repair and micro-engineered synthetic vascular graft for coronary bypass. The importance of nanofibers resides in the fact that that can create scaffolds of different body tissue and organs and biomimetic blood vessel networks, allowing cells to grow within layers of the support system and self-arrange into the anticipated configuration. What I was doing is contributing to the future of medicine, but I was doing it with an idea that was at first a failed idea. Each failure, each disappointment made me who I am today. I never aspired to dream big, as big as I do now. And I can't imagine where failure may lead. I'm sure to a bigger goal. What we should always think about is that even your biggest failure can result to a bigger success. Thank you.